Let me put you on. People are out here earning. People are out here becoming financially stable. People are out here investing in themselves. So what are you waiting on? Join the movement. Hey, extraordinary people. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. If you're new here, please stay true here. My name is Nadine and in today's video, I am going to be showing you another way to earn a passive income. Okay, family, so without wasting any time, I have already logged into Canva and as you can see, I'm sharing with you my screen. Thank you for always supporting. Thank you for liking, sharing and commenting. If you are not yet a part of NMC's world and you feel the need to become a part of it, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and join us. All right, so today we'll be creating a custom composition cover. We're going to go to the right, click the drop down. It shows you different options that you can use. Canva is what I use to create my thumbnails. Now, today I'll be using custom dimensions. Some of these dimensions that was on the drop down, they are already preset. So this other drop down to the right that we'll be looking at contains the different dimensions, whether you're using pixels, inches, centimeters. In today's case, we'll be using inches. The dimensions will be 7.5 by 9.25. So I'll go ahead and put those in. Immediately when you put your information in, you notice there's a pop-up that shows you to move forward to create this design. So when I'm through here, I'm going to show you how you can go about creating a cover. But let me tell you now, I'm not any excellent designer who is going to show you a fantastic design. I'm just showing you how you can go about creating a book cover of your own. All right. So please, this is not for you to critique the book that I'm going to be showing you. Right. We all, <laughs> we all have our strengths and we all have our weaknesses. But I do believe I can create a simple design just to give you a basic idea. Okay, so now we're in the section where we're going to be putting on the design for the book. So in this section, you can put on a background for your book text element, your uploads, you can record your voice. Let's say if you're doing something that requires you to record your voice, you know, just for um, information sake. So I've gone ahead and just selected a yellow background. You can select what it is you want to use as a design. Um, what am I going to use? All right, let me use birds, for example. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in. And then you're going to see on the drop down that there are some photos of birds. So I'm going to go ahead and just select a bird. For those of you who are not familiar with Canva, then you would not know that some of these pictures or the graphics that you'll use, some are free and some are paid. The ones that are paid, you'll see a little crown icon beneath the pictures, right? So before you select these pictures, just check to see if they are free to use and you're good to go. After you're satisfied with the picture that you have chosen, then you're going to need to put in a section to put in the names. I'm just going to select a white rectangle and when the rectangles come up, I'm just going to drag it over to the page, right? So it's kind of a drag and drop feature that it has. So as you see, you see here, I'm just going to do a simple design and um, there is something that uh, I'm going to also do. When you want to put lines on the page and the text, if it's text, you go over to the left. If you want to put in lines, you just press L on your laptop. I am designing from a laptop screen. So go ahead and adjust that, center it on the page. Hit the L on the keypad again. And depending on how many lines you want to put in there, then you hit L three times, two times, and it will come up and you adjust it. Go over to the text section and you're going to select and type in if you're going to be putting composition notebook or notebook, you take it from there, type that in, then make the necessary adjustments. 
at the top if you notice you see a negative then number and then positive you can use that to minimize or increase your font size when you're designing next if 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 you're designing something and you want to change the color you will see the letter a with a color scheme beneath it you can use that pretty much like a word document where you have bold you can italicize the font you can center it on the page if you're not going to freeform center okay so here i'm just going i'm just trying to make the adjustment and i'm just going to go ahead and put in composition book and you can select the bold feature which is the b or you can change the fonts to the left of the page right but you want it to stand out so when i hit bold it will give it a much nicer feature you see that it's very nice all right so basically that's it you can play around in this section play around to your heart's content if you are not very good at designing such as i am but if you're good with graphics you know you, I, I wouldn't even have to explain all of this to you right next we're going to put on a spine so go ahead and hit r on your keypad and it will bring up this pop-up box then you're just going to adjust it as you see me doing here put it to the corner of the book everything will highlight on the page to guide you as to how to accurately adjust the spine on the book cover all right so play around with that you can change the color me personally i like to work with the black color next you're going to duplicate this page right i could have duplicated it before when it was blank but um, let me just adjust this you can drag it and you'll see where it exceeds the line or where you stop all right so i'm going to show you the duplicate feature and you will see that i have two covers i deliberately did it this way there you go so we're just going to simply remove what we selected to use like i said i could have done it the other way around actually i didn't remember to duplicate it at first but it's okay that bin you can take off anything you need to know we're going to drag this to the right of the page because when you open a book you will need the front cover and you will need the back cover so simple like this guys so i'm almost finished and we're on the road to helping you to make your book cover and make some money so let's go ahead and download this let's not waste any more time because i need to get over to book bolt the next website that we'll be using is book bolt i already have an account with book bolt so i'm going to log in for you you'll need to sign up and to do so you can look to the top right hand corner of the page and follow the simple prompts to get signed up so you can continue the process of creating your books to start making you some money the very first thing that greets you when you log into book bold are these videos now these videos are there as a guide these are short tutorial guides so book bold has got you covered now I believe when I signed up, they were offering a three day trial and it's that three day trial that I used to publish my first book on KDP, right? So I'm not going to waste any time opening any of these videos. I'm going to go straight over to the research panel on the left and I'm going to take you over to the book bold studio. So click this middle um, icon here and it will take you straight over to the studio now when i signed up they used to have an older version of the design studio right so for a little bit of historic walk it's just going to be very short i'm going to show you what the previous designer tab looked like and how i used to navigate it's not very different from the other one so here you have it okay so you would see where you'd have the paperback hardcover 
you would see if you are designing either the cover or the interior you could put in the dimensions and you could also select where how many pages you wanted to add to it but hey we're moving on over to the new bold studio so click this red icon here and it will open up for you the new new design book bold studio so they have been tweaking some things and now they have rolled out the new design studio okay family so we're logging in once you log in you will see the book cover template with some information on it i will not be using that today i'm going to click on hide this template and use a fresh template so follow what i did then click ok after you do that you're going to go over to the left hand side and you're going to scroll down and select new project so we're starting a new thing today right then the template comes up you're going to put in your title or what you want to name your project when we were in canva earlier i told you that the dimensions were 7.5 by 9.25 after you have selected that in the drop down below the project name then you're going to also select the amount of pages you want for your book you can choose 100 you can choose 150 personally i don't go over 200 right so you're going to go ahead and put in the amount of pages and then you are going to create the project okay on this panel here you have where you can put in text and a lot of things this is where you're going to upload the file from and this is where you're going to put in the inner pages so you can get free images from pexels and on splash however i'm grabbing the information straight from my files so i've grabbed them i'm clicking on it click on the back and right away we are in the design studio now if you see it looking like that don't worry it usually goes on top of the other page so you just drag it to the left if you notice there are some lines there already to guide you how sweet is that you know worry yourself you know there are guidelines there so if you notice i'm clicked on either the left or the right side of the book cover whichever side you highlight that's the one you're working on i'm using my laptop so if i'm using the left side i use the directional arrows and i gently tap to the right if you're doing the book cover then you're going to select the book cover and tap the left arrow and you take your time and you do that because if you don't do that you're going to be dragging and it's not going to be aligned properly i had to learn that the hard way so i'm telling you because i made all the mistakes already now you're going to drag the directional lines don't worry about the composition book head cutting off and all of that don't worry yourself i'm just showing you that right around the book you will see that there is a limit at first i didn't notice that but i learned by trial and error what happens if you don't align it properly then your book will not be accepted over in amazon kdp so you're going to take your time and adjust everything bringing back your lines to make sure that it's right at the edge of the book if you're getting value so far please subscribe to the channel so let's put the interior in this notebook all right this is where you click to get to the interior pages here you can see all of these tabs just take some time look at those at the bottom is where you're going to select so you have ruled and ruled with fields so you decide which one so click on it view through to see if it suits you but normally i click on ruled here you have college ruled wide rule and narrow rule i have selected college rule now as you can see the cover section is highlighted there and if you scroll down to the bottom of this page you will see that the 200 pages that we chose earlier they're there all right so let's scroll back up to the top very important that you deselect the cover if you don't you're going to end up with a cover that has lines all over it so remember to deselect and then you continue click through don't mind this part before we go any further i just want to say remember to click the link in the description or the links that i have in the description okay canva is free but i can also put the link for canva down here so that you don't have to be all over the place searching for these links all right so i've been talking about book bold okay and i have secured a 20 percent off 
for you if you decide to sign up for Book Bolt, if you decide to go this route. Yes, man. Me tell you, you know, me go look for the good things them for you. So 20% off coupon. Get it, guys. Get it, get it, get it. And start earning some income for you and your family. Now, you know you're in NMC's world. So please, you're going to have that discount code NMC's world and you'll get 20% off when you sign up for book bold how sweet is that the link is in the description box below how do you get to the description box click the show more button it will drop down you will see all sort of goodies down there always remember to check out the description box for goodies but today please check for the book bold coupon link all right let's get straight back into the video okay we're closer to becoming an author yes you're going to be an author because you're going to own the rights to this book and here we go we click on projects you'll see cmyk which stands for cyan magenta yellow and black and also rgb rgb stands for red green blue we're talking about color here guys all right so usually i check this option just a little bit more so rgb is used for digital communications and websites cmyk cyan magenta yellow and black is usually it works best for print and print material and as you know we are making a low content paperback notebook even if you didn't know now i'm telling you you don't have to put in the legwork i am showing you exactly what to do now when it comes to putting your book on amazon and publishing the book you are going to own the rights to these books okay you don't have to do anything you don't have to stock inventory you don't have to talk to the customers just like when you go on amazon to shop this is it now you are producing something that other people are going to see it is going to be under your name you're going to be the owner of the rights as i said and then amazon will sell these books for you it's a print on demand kind of business so you're good to go right so when you upload these books and put in your information your titles your details amazon is going to print these paperbacks and when people see it just like when you go on and you're shopping when you click amazon is going to print and ship it off to wherever it is in the world wherever amazon stores are located online so we're at the final leg over in Amazon KDP. We're going to hit create and we're creating a paper book. It's a physical book that you can write in guys. So hit on paper button. Now we're going to put in the descriptions, okay? The product detail, the paperback details. So you're going to go in and put in the title of your book. And we are making a composition book. So you're going to put that in the field that is provided. Um, as it pertains to subtitles, leave that alone. It's not a series, leave that alone. Put in only these things that I'm putting in for now. Where you have where the author is, that is the name that you're going to see on Amazon. The book is created by you. So in this case, I'm just going to drop in NMC's World and I use it as a first and last name. When you see it on Amazon, it's going to come together nicely. So put that in. There are no contributors to my book, okay? Below that, we're just going to go straight to the description. Now, this is where you're going to put in the information about your book. Just as when you go on Amazon to shop and you see the name and what the product is about, that is a description. You know, this composition book or this beautiful composition book does blah, 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 so forth, so and so. So you want to populate this area with the information. So I'm not going to be doing a lot at this section. I'm simply pointing out to you the areas that you need to populate in order to have this completed book that is going to be sold. That is if you're interested in becoming an author. The beauty about this is that you get to create a mark. You get to do something in your life. For me, I found it interesting and I did it. So the publishing rights, as you see here, is owned by you. You have the rights to put this book that Book Bolt allowed you to use their platform to create, to put it on Amazon and to own the publishing rights. Men I like Book Bolt go hard. Book Bolt is going really odd. All right, so 
you want to put in keywords and keywords are what triggers the algorithm to find your book. So you're making a composition book. You can put in things like it is a journal because people buy these books for journaling. You can write that it is suitable for college students and so forth and so on. Now you're going to be required to choose a category for your book. Now I'm not going to go through all of that. Go through there and select. But if you don't, you won't be able to pass this point. You're going to populate all of these things because you want your book to become a target and that it will be pushed up in the rank where you're selling the book in Amazon. In this section, you will be asked what kind of book. So if it's a low content book, whether it's a composition book, a journal, etc., or if it is written content in this case, we're creating a low content book. So you select the top one down below. You need to, to indicate also if it has adult content. No, this book don't have any adult business going on in it. So you're going to click no, then you're going to go straight to save and continue. Next, you'll see that this part has been completed. Now you're going to put in the paperback content. All right. So don't worry about this part. This is something that Amazon puts in for you. If you have this ISBN information, then you're going to go ahead and put it in right so here are the printing options it is in black and white leave it that has been pre-populated and go down to the dimension section right now remember the book is 7.5 by 9.25 so that's the trim size now you're going to click over to the right um and you're going to select that dimension so when you select that you will see it out front and you keep on moving no bleed etc now you're at the section where you're going to upload this book that you created in book bold so remember when we downloaded the book cover and the inside part from book bold you have to go into your files and grab that right so i'm not going to show you inside my files but you're going to go in there you're going to open the zip file and you are going to upload the manuscript the front and the inside of the book right so the first part is to upload the interior which will show the 200 pages of the composition book next you're going to upload the cover of the book right so you're going to either launch the cover creator or you're going to click to upload the one that you created in this case you created one in book bold so that's the one you're going to grab all right so let's check on the book now so we're going to preview the book Oh, it looks um, the quality check they will tell you if there's anything you need to adjust there is the book now remember when I was over in book old I was saying ensure that you follow the lines you have a, a coupon code that is going to be affixed to your book check the lines to see that it is done properly then you approve it and then that's basically it it will take you back to the last leg that you have now the paperback rights and pricing okay so you just check through double check amazon gives you a summary of pricing between the regions where your books will be sold and sometimes you have a number of stores they will show you everything is above board nothing hidden save and continue go ahead and put in the cost for your book and amazon outlines all of the details how much commission you will get um, from each book and in each region how much you will get from the different regions i will be publishing the book today this is all for you guys as soon as you hit that your book will go into review as soon as it is reviewed by amazon then it will go live okay guys thanks again for watching today's video i do hope that you'll take the initiative and start doing some of these things that i'm digging up so that you guys can start earning some income and the thing about this this is passive income this is passive income you see passive income you do the work one time as long as you have breath and even when breath leave your body your family members them can still earn off whatever is coming through this source that i'm telling you about do the work one time and guess what it is going to generate an income for you for years to come that wraps it up for today i hope you enjoyed this video 
tell me in the comments below if you decide to try this way of earning an income it's easy you know and i mean if you have forgotten the steps go back and look at them the video will always be here there are other videos here on the channel that will help you with ways in which you can earn an income and if you're earning your little us dollars there are videos on here that show you how you can get the money to you so please guys I'm here out here. I'm out here wilding. I'm out here getting you information. So show some appreciation by joining my channel. Show some appreciation by hitting the thumbs up and also joining the family. And I and MCs are an extraordinary people, people from around the world. And MCs.